Well, hey guys, it's Jason. <clears throat> I've had a really great week. Uh, I've got uh, some. I, I've I've been expecting some stuff to come. Uh, made a couple of deals this week, a couple of trades, barters, whatever you want to call them. Uh, <clears throat> and this is one of them. I am very excited about. I'm not even going to pretend that I don't know what's in this box. <clears throat> it's uh, honey. That's uh, 25 to 30 years old. So uh, I, I'm I'm gonna crack this thing open. I'm I'm stoked about getting this. Uh, you know, not a lot of people realize honey never goes bad. It'll uh, crystallize, and you can fix the crystallization of it uh, by warming it. Uh, and as long as it doesn't get over 110, 115 degrees. Um, the professionals say 120 is the magic number. Don't don't get over 120. Um, that uh, that it'll retain all of its uh, healthy goodness. Uh, so uh, let me uh, get this open here. We're gonna packing peanuts. I wasn't expecting packing peanuts. And I see my microphone light over there is blinky red. Uh, I may have to pause this and change some batteries right quick. But here. Here, you go, Uncle Buck. This is coming from Buck Run 11. Uh, uh, and you're going to get your packing peanuts back, buddy. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm just kidding. If it don't, if it don't set up right to uh, ship back what what we're getting, but uh, anyway, okay. Packing peanuts everywhere. Ah. All right. Well, it looks like the microphone's still working. So, let's get this done quick. Maybe, maybe we won't lose audio. Wow, dude. <laughs> you, you package this to travel. Having to sort of keep an eye on my little thing here. Whoa, now. All right, there ain't no sense in getting in a hurry. If the audio dies, the audio dies. I'll just have to start this over. <laughs> Getting a little too silent. Wow. That is that looks solid as a rock. Whoa. That is full. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. That is some crazy flavor right there. Um, <clears throat> wow. That is wild. I've never tasted anything like it. Mm. It's thick. And the the texture of it and the uh, the look takes your mind towards syrup
but it's got an aroma that I've smelled before. <clears throat> it, it's got a it's got a plant. Uh, I say it's an aroma. It's got a it's got a taste like something that I've smelled before, a flower or a bloom or or something. My dad used to be this thing called a sweet shrub down at the farm. I'm going to place this. Oh, that's good. That is so unique. It's uh, Okay, anyway. I will clean up around the edge of this. Then I'll clean this up make sure there's no rust. Might, if I see any rust, I don't see any rust. I think this is all good. Uh, we're going to run this through the dehydrator, get it thinned up. Wow, this is a full jar. So, anyway, as promised, uh, you said you couldn't find any coal men. You're going to get some Hard Way Farms Pure Raw Comb in Honey. This stuff is good. This stuff was actually pulled in one week. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we uh, the battery there on our uh, little remote microphone. So, uh, this video has gone on too long. I'll have to uh, come back once I get this dehydrated, but uh, or dehydrated, not dehydrated, but uh, but decrystallized. Run through the dehydrator to uh, to get things. Uh, Get it all back into into one there's crystals in there but just that little taste that i took off of this um man uh, it's the real deal there it's it's honey i've never tasted anything quite like it it's it's spectacular i'm i'm really thrilled with, with this uh with this trade um and uh and and there's your uh coal man honey uh Oh yeah, what did it taste like? This, the comb in. When I put the put the empty frame in there for them to draw the comb and cap it, the privet edge was just in full bloom. And they took that frame and they pulled it, pulled the wax and pulled the and and pulled pulled the honeycomb onto the on the wax, filled it with honey, and capped that entire frame. In ten days tops, it, it took them a week, you know, roughly. To I mean, I put that thing in, and and it, it was it was done so fast. It was amazing to me how fast they pulled that. The flow was just coming on strong. Um, so actually, when you you know <clears throat> the way I put the honey around it. Um, it's it sort of dampens down the, the taste but when you pull that comb out and you cut a little chunk of that comb off and you get the get the other uh, honey away from it and you just throw that little piece of comb into your mouth and bite into it you can actually taste the way privet hedge when it's in bloom smells you'll you'll taste it it's 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 really some of this is some of the best comb in honey uh i've ever my bees have ever made for me uh i've only been doing comb in for a couple of years uh, but but this is some really good comb in uh so i'm pleased with the trade dude i'm gonna get you uh get you a flat rate box out tomorrow and uh and i'm gonna take this in the house Clean this lid up, make sure there's no rust on it. I may take, a, if there is some rust on there, I may take a, a layer of the honey off the top just to, and put it in a smaller jar to, to make sure that nothing's changed the flavor of it. But I don't think there's any rust on this because there really shouldn't be any moisture to speak of much in there. The bees dehydrate this down to where it's perfect before they cap it. So... And really, if there was any moisture in it, it would have blew the lid off of that thing before by now. Uh, 
you'd have walked out and that'd have been honey just oozed out all over inside that cabinet and this lid would be laying off to the side so or just popped up and cocked sideways so you know too much moisture in honey and it'll it'll ferment and pop but uh i've rambled on long enough i am so excited about this and later in the week i've got another uh trade that i made for some uh for some honey that i'm really stoked about showing y'all i i can't wait for that one either um but i ain't gonna i ain't gonna spoil it so y'all take it easy expect a follow-up video with pancakes for this stuff this will be good on pancakes good mm. <laughs> y'all take care jason out <laughs>